What is happening, my beautiful Pisces family? This is the third time that I intend to do this video. Every time I start off wanting to give my condolences to the Ukrainian people and what they're going through, I, I get emotional. And that is you, Pisces. You feel the collective energy. You feel things around. Um, I just want to let anybody that's from Ukraine know that we stand in solidarity with you. And I'm so sorry that you or your loved ones are going through this. Um, and we hope that this shifts quickly for you. But also, Pisces, there is so much happening. And right now, you could feel like you're in a limbo. And if you feel like you're in a limbo, first off, congratulations. Because that means that you are, you are entering the new world. You are entering a new phase, a new dimension. And with that comes uncertainty. With that comes so much unknowing right you you don't know what's next a lot of you could be in transition of jobs a lot of you could be in transitions of home just circumstances shifting for you and i just want you to know that things will lighten up it's important to have faith and so i want to get an energy update for you and see what's happening what's coming in for you pisces um here shortly there's a lot happening there's a lot of emotions there's a new moon um i believe in Pisces on Sunday and then the moon will enter Aquarius so let's see what's coming in for you a lot of you should clean your home clear your space prepare for this new moon set clear intentions of what you want to manifest I got sick again if your mind is going too crazy and, and there's so much and you know you could be making yourself sick or lowering your immune system but I want you to understand that you are where you need to be, right? If something happened in your life and you're still replaying that or you feel bad or you feel like you missed some sort of opportunity, you didn't. It's a learning experience. You're exactly where you need to be and it's going to take you where you need to be. There's great things coming up for you, Pisces, but you have to stay strong. You have to stay resilient. You could feel like not doing anything, but every step counts moving forward, okay? So let's see what's coming in for you, Pisces. What's coming in for you? What's coming in for you? So with being sick, I was able to detox my body again. And, you know, when you don't have, you know, all this food built up that's bringing your vessel dense, right? Whatever addictions people have, all that good stuff, you know, you're able to lighten up the vessel. And therefore, you, you, you're connected to your intuition much higher and also you feel things more deeply, right? But this is, it, it also allows you to help people more because your energy and your vibration is more intentional, is more aligned. So let's see, not when you're sick, you're more aligned, right? But when you're able to cleanse your body of all the excess, that's when you're most aligned. So let's see what's coming in for Pisces. What's coming in for Pisces? What's coming in for Pisces? I was just listening to a podcast about what's happening in, in, in Ukraine astrologically and put in uh, placements and, um, you know, and all that good stuff and how Saturn as well. There's going to be like a, a Saturn square or conjunction, the new moon or something. So it's very interesting. Let's see what, what happens moving forward. But again, um, stand in a lot of solidarity with my Ukrainian people. I have Ukrainian friends and every time I'm just not going to go there right now because even though I'm detached and I'm watching this, I feel their energy. It's really insane. So a lot of you could have heightened energy. A lot of you could see, you know, your intuition is evolving more than ever before. You could feel the collective energy. Try to transmute that energy in a positive way. Let's see what's coming up for Pisces. What is coming up for Pisces? What's coming up for Pisces? What's coming up for Pisces? Spirit, clear and concise messages for my Pisces friends. What's coming up for Pisces? What is coming up for Pisces? What's 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 coming up for Pisces? Clear and concise messages, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know? What's coming up? What's coming up for Pisces? Hmm. 
Pisces at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. So in an overview here, Pisces, the base of your reading, and we're going to do some clarifying, clarifying the uh, King of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel here that there's a challenge with your stability. There's a challenge with your money, but what's helping or hindering you, there's this new growth. Something is going to grow from this. Your stability being challenged right now, your money, your circumstances, it's going, there's growth happening here in some sense, and we're going to clarify. In your conscious mind, the lovers in the reverse, maybe you feel like a connection is at odds, or you feel like the alignment within yourself is off in some sense. In your subconscious, which, which rules a lot of your life, the hierophants in the reverse. So I feel here that, again, this has come in this placement before. There's a need to further commit to yourself, but also there's a sense of rebelliousness in your subconscious brewing here, Okay. Your next move, the death, transformation. And what I like here, how you see yourself, the sun. There's going to be a transformation coming up here. Because it's interesting. Because the reading started off like a reading that we did in the past. Again, you know, this Hierophant in the reverse. We had the King of Pentacles. But then it, the transition of how you start to see yourself changes, right? Because maybe you were able to get quiet and listen. And then there's a transformation. Then you start to see yourself as the sun, in your environment, five of swords, people could be trying to have the upper hand or there could be some sort of conflict, betrayal, some sort of that stuff. Let's see here. Let's clarify. First of all, what is this king of pentacles in the reverse here? Pisces, base of Pisces reading, king of pentacles in the reverse. And we're going to do some clarifying with a couple cards. <coughs> I'm sorry if that was loud. King of pentacles in the reverse for Pisces. What is this in the base of Pisces reading? Yeah, Pisces, there's a need here to balance your emotions. There's a need here to, to not let your emotions or not get into victim mentality here, okay? It's a time to continue to move forward. What is this uh, Empress was helping your hindering Pisces? Empress. Because there could be a lot of change. A lot's happening in your environment faster than ever. And you could want to recoil into yourself and hide off. There's an opportunity, but it came out in the reverse. What is this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? Because you need to balance. So I don't want you to miss an opportunity for, for stability here. Or let's see, what is this? What is this opportunity? What is this Ace of Pentacles? What is this Ace of Pentacles? What is this opportunity here? Opportunity for, uh, what is this opportunity? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. What's helping or hindering Pisces? Yeah. And taking action in regards to something new. So if, you know, a lot of you have yet to take action in that new thing that you want to do, that podcast, that channel, that, that thing, okay? Because your emotions, because you feel the universal energies and it takes a toll on you, you've yet to take action in regards to that, okay? Let's see here. What is this uh, King of Pentacles in the reverse? King of Pentacles in the reverse. Movement, choices, and decisions. You need to make the decision. You need to just decide that you're going to move forward. And which way are you going to move forward? So I feel here that, you know, not making a decision is making a decision, essentially. Okay? So this is what we need to work on. Again, the subconscious is a little bit of non-committal. Maybe you don't know uh, what you want to do. Where you want to go, you're kind of still feeling it out. I feel that Sunday on this new moon, it's going to bring some clarity to you. What is this Hierophant in the reverse in Pisces subconscious mind? Hierophant in the reverse in Pisces subconscious mind. Hierophant in the reverse in Pisces subconscious mind. Yeah. I feel here, Pisces, that there's definitely some root chakra being cleared and, you know, uh, your your reality and your perspective around your wishes, your fulfillment, okay? It's like your security is being tested or, or somehow tested is the best word, but on the other side of that is everything okay, is your strength to get your fulfillment of your wishes. So I feel here that you need to commit to yourself. You need to commit to your higher self, okay? With everything that's been going on, maybe that can be challenging. 
What's Pisces' next move? What is this death in the reverse? Death in the reverse, Pisces' next move. Death in the reverse. Death in the reverse, Pisces' next move. Death in the reverse. Three of cups in the reverse. Maybe you're putting um, an end to some uh, overindulgences. to not taking action, to being overwhelmed. Maybe that's transforming here in your life. What is Pisces? What, what's Pisces next move? Pisces next move. What is this death here? Through heartache and loss, there's fertility. So this is so this is a theme and now it's abundantly clear because essentially that's what, what, what came out in the base of your reading. So yes, there's some heavy ass times right now, okay? There could be things in your life that you feel are holding you back, that you are making you your emotions feel some sort of type of way, that are throwing you into victimhood, that are testing you. But also, with as much with with as much heartache and loss, there's as much opportunity to build something new. Don't stay dwelling in this Pisces. Continue to put one step forward, one foot forward in front of the other, and build the new here. Okay. Because again, what's helping or hindering you, the same thing, fertility. This is fertility. This is the empress, okay? But are you going to be able to go towards that? If you, you know, if you're going to go towards that, you have to be balanced to get this opportunity. So again, push yourself. This is a time to build spiritual strength that maybe you've drained a little bit over the time or you've been lacking for some sort of reason, Okay, how does Pisces view themselves? The sun, maybe some things are being illuminated to you, Pisces. The sun, maybe you know your lack of, of 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 strength at this time, or you seeing that you need to have more strength to pull yourself together, and move forward. Maybe that's what's being highlighted at this time in your environment. What is this? What is this in your environment? Five of Swords, people when they don't feel. A good as well, you know, so they act in some sort of type of way. What is this five of swords? Maybe you've walked away and someone feels like they have the upper hand here. Three of pentacles. Maybe, you know, some sort of collaboration. People aren't working together at this time. Mm-hmm. All right. And the outcome, Pisces. The ace of cups in the reverse. Also, your hopes and fears you hope for some mental clarity here so you can move forward, so you can find a direction. But I feel like a very important point is we have to take action before we feel that we're ready. Before you know what you think it is that you truly want to do, you have to take action. Ace of Cups in the reverse. What is this as an outcome? What is this as an outcome for Pisces? What is this as an outcome for Pisces? I think I'm going to do a video on Ukraine and Russia and see what we can get in tarot coming up. If any of you are interested in that, let me know. Ace of Cups in the reverse. What's the outcome here for Pisces? Okay. I feel that from this emotional stirring, right? And this is what happens. From this emotional loss, there is fertile ground. Fertile ground for you to build. And I feel like you are learning some lessons. You are seeing things uh, that, you know, need shifting you want more harmony in your life and you're kind of tired of these stagnant energies, right? And you're seeing your part in them and you're moving forward from that. You're, you're, you're moving forward from it. So let's see here. What is this outcome? Ace of Cups in the reverse. What is this? Ace of Cups in the reverse. What is this? Conflict and defeat and new beginnings. That's exactly what is here. Exactly. I love these confirmation cards. You feel defeated or you feel there's conflict here. There's change happening, but trust and believe that that's going to lead you to your new beginning. I want to get more clarity on this new beginning. What is this new beginning for Pisces? What is this new beginning for Pisces? Let's get with some cards. What is this new beginning? I think these are the perfect ones for this. What is this new beginning for Pisces? What is this new beginning for Pisces? What is this new beginning for Pisces? New beginning here for Pisces. planting seeds and this is and this is what the universe wants you to do right to plant these seeds right now because the time is fertile the time is fertile to do this again 
Confirmation over confirmation, we've got the Empress, what's helping or hindering you. It's, it's fertile time. You have to plant the seeds. Don't miss the opportunity to plant these seeds because you're in victimhood, Pisces, okay? Seeds of grace are being planted in fertile soil of my soul. Standing firm. Be brave. Stand your ground. Decide, Pisces. Stand firm, okay? You are not going to miss this opportunity. You, you can't. What's coming up for Pisces? What's coming up for Pisces? Receiving magic. Pisces, I feel there could be also some mending of some relationships with you or some people that you didn't expect um, or some connections coming together here. But there is going to be magic unfolding in your environment. But it's so important for you to plant those seeds, Pisces, whatever it is. Listen, I didn't feel like doing a video and it's not because I, I do feel better now. I got sick on Monday. Um, I went to CrossFit again. I hadn't gone for a while and I guess I got sick at CrossFit. Um, but I do see the intelligence behind it, right? It, it, it was able for me to kind of, okay, reset and let go of all that so I can listen, right? Because sometimes things prohibit us from listening to what the universe is trying to tell us. Let's get some advice for you to wrap this video up and we're gonna do others. What is what is advice for Pisces during this time? What is advice for Pisces during this time? What is advice for Pisces during this time? Seasonal harvest and cleansing body uh, and spirit. Now is a time to cleanse yourself. Again, this water energy Plant the seeds. Okay, so there's been a lot of conflict in the feet, right? But you know what to do more than ever, right? I mean, more than a lot of people because your Pisces, you're intuitive. You're the water energy. Cleanse yourself of all that. Let the light shine in on you again, Pisces. And you're going to reap your harvest. You are going to reap your harvest, but this person is also planting so they can reap. Well, they're also pulling out, you know. But um, I do feel that you are going to reap your harvest here, Pisces. So don't stay in that conflict and defeat. What is the advice for Pisces? What is the advice for Pisces? What is the advice for Pisces here? Advice for Pisces. What is the advice for Pisces? So the very clear message that's coming through in this, in this reading is, yes, in the times that there's more distress and chaos, there's also an equal amount of opportunity, right? So the message is here that you could feel defeated, you could feel conflict, but the, 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 the soil is so fertile for you to plant that new thing, right? You're feeling defeated because it needed to redirect you. Don't stay in that defeat. Plant those seeds because it's going to be amazing for you. Diving to new depths. You are diving to new depths, Pisces. This is, you know, your water. There's a deeper meaning to what is happening, okay? You might not understand it, but it's cleansing you and preparing you. Okay, you might be looking at this from a surface level, missing what is really going on. Take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what you are feeling about your current situation. It's, it's molding you. Allow it to mold you rather than make you bitter. One more. One more. One more. Also, we don't sometimes don't understand what's happening on a soul level. We're transmuting a lot of energy, Pisces. You as empaths, you're helping people. You're being that light. And yes, you know, you do need to cleanse. Gentle moderation. Gentle moderation. Diving to new depths so you can gently moderate, okay? Mold your surroundings. Take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what it is you're trying to accomplish. Another message for you guys is, listen, it doesn't matter what other people are doing. You don't have to show off. You don't have to show that you're keeping up or anything. Everyone's journey is different, okay? And trust me, you are going to have your winning moment. Don't, don't think that you're getting left behind here. One more. One more for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. So, yes, take your time, Pisces, because there could be this, this replacing what was lost. Very interesting. Replacing what was lost. I saw something like this this morning. You now have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start anew. If this message is not ringing as loud to you as it is me, I don't know what's happening. Create with a new perspective or outlook. This card may also indicate abundance on the horizon. It's time to create, okay? Today, today starts the creation for you, Pisces. This weekend starts the creation for you. Make a plan. Cleanse yourself. As of right now, I'm actually inspired to do a cleanse. I'm inspired to clean the house 
for the for the the new moon i'm inspired to clean my energy i'm going to use this weekend to clean all this energy so i can start anew and continue to plant these seeds because you are going to replace what was lost and it's going to be much better than you anticipated pisces so i hope this was helpful for you again uh, to my Ukrainian people, I love you so much. If there's anything that I can possibly do that's in my hands, please write down in the comments below. I love you guys. Stay safe.